today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mike Drewhand and the Managing Director of Sales here. Numond, how are you both today? Very good, Tracy. Thank you so much. Okay, so Mike, we've had an incredible news flow happening. It seems to me like MedEx Health all of a sudden has been born again. That's what you used to say in the South. Can you tell me how MedEx has changed? What are we today? Because I see an evolution in your descriptives, for instance. Yeah, I think it's uh, interesting. I think the focus is so intense now within the organization. A lot of that is uh, some new additions on the team. But what's really happened here has been the digital transformation. You know, digital healthcare is uh, coming into the forefront now. And we've been here for a while. We've not had this before, Tracy, but we're getting inbound calls and from really big companies looking to solve real world problems. And we've been working on this for a while now, but now you're starting to see the fruits of that labor. Okay, well, Numan, you're frontline sales and business development. What makes Medex Health, why should we be putting Medex Health on our, you know, to buy potentially screen? Tell us the competitive edge that you're selling today for Medex Health. Thank you. Really, it's a very simple answer. Uh, with COVID, we're seeing an inflection point in the consumerization of healthcare. And Medex has had this offering for a while. Today, it's a fit with what the patients want. Uh, experience in the traditional healthcare system has been complex, bureaucratic, and timely and costly. People do not want that anymore. They are demanding that the healthcare be at their fingertips. They're demanding faster access, better access, and secure access. And thank God, um, Med Medix has that uh, ready on offer today. So we're get, we're seeing great demand. Uh, Mike, I'm seeing like you know six news releases here in the last ten business days. And I'm reading the information. It sounds to me like you're transforming your brand awareness positioning to be more of like a media tech for the biotech industry. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's a really good observation. The Derm Secure platform is a platform that we can deal with skin. And that's the largest organ on the body. And we've got the best imaging capture and the best uh, secure uh, process of being able to move that information to the specialists. And we're number one in the world in it. That's the difference, Tracy. So you're number one in the world. We've seen a, a flurry of news releases, of which looks like a deals, um, but we're not seeing it hit the bottom line yet. When should we as shareholders and potential investors start seeing revenue numbers or numbers you know, associated with all these deals that we're seeing announcements for? Yeah, I think that's, a, that's, that's the crux of the question, really. So what what we can tell the shareholders is this, any pilots that we're doing are paid for pilots. So there's a hardware sale, so they'll see that revenue instantaneously. So as we populate our map that we have of where can we get scanned, people will be able to see those numbers directly. And then it's about a month lag time between all of the scanning revenue starting to come in, and then they'll start to see that. So we'll start to populate our, uh, our, our global map of where we can get scanned. So so investors will get an idea of what our revenue curve is starting to look like. So they won't have to wait for the numbers to come out. They'll get a general good idea of, of the traction because that's what they're looking for now is traction. Enough talk. Let's see the revenue traction. So in addition to the substantial news flow increase that we've seen, uh, really uh, a redefining of who Medex Health is, we're also seeing some substantial new partnerships. Can you talk to or highlight one of these for us, Mike? Yeah, I think one of our, like, if you take a look at the El Zahari group, the one that we have in the Middle East that we just announced, that's a big, big, big distributor. So that was a six month process of due diligence that they went through before we got selected to be on their platform. And their reach into that community is extensive. And so that's the big difference now is our distribution partners have that extended reach into that marketplace that we could never do on our own. And so that speed of adoption really picks up. It's a little bit to get the due diligence done, but once it's done, speed to market goes very quickly. Well, I'd like to thank you both for joining us today. And everyone out there, please, uh, if you have any questions for Medix Health, send them to me and we'll get them over to uh, Mike and his team. Thank you both. Thanks, thank Tracy. you, Tracy.